Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for next week's episode. Also, we've got a teaser for a potential Supergirl spin-off. So we need to break this all down. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we got some very interesting stuff to talk about in today's video. So the Supergirl showrunners, they teased a potential upcoming spin-off series. Obviously, we've been theorizing that once Supergirl ends, surely they're going to try and set up some sort of Supergirl spin-off. Because really, Superman and Lois is a Supergirl spin-off, however, it's so different and they're like completely ignoring most of the stuff on Supergirl that it feels like its own show rather than just a straight-up spin-off. So, the Supergirl showrunners acknowledge this, and they acknowledge that maybe there could be a potential Supergirl spin-off series sometime after Supergirl ends. We're going to be breaking down that article that comes from the wrap. The article will be linked in the description below. We're going to go ahead and get into that first before we go over the trailer for Prom Again, which is Kyla Lee's directorial debut on Supergirl. This is episode 6. Okay, so let's go to the wrap's article. So, it's titled... Supergirl showrunners on spin-off series possibilities. So as Supergirl nears the halfway point of its sixth and final season, fans are preparing to officially say goodbye to their favorite characters, but some are still holding out hopes for any spin-off series, including Supergirl showrunner Jessica Queller. In a conversation with The Wrap, co-showrunner Robert Rovner said that there are no conversations regarding a spin-off show happening so far. That's the imperative word right there. But that doesn't mean they aren't open to it. And Quella says, I wish, with a laugh. And she says, call the bosses. And so if the call gets made, Quella knows exactly who she'd like to see a spin-off of. I'm really attached to the Midvale Girls. To the flashback episodes with young Kara and young Alex and young Cat Grant. I think that would be a great spin-off, she said. And so the article continues, indeed. Cat Grant returned to Supergirl this week, just not in the way that fans were necessarily expecting, and in Prom Night, Nia and Brainy, they time travel back to 2009, after Nia's powers indicated that the answer to saving Kara from the Phantom Zone lied with the teenage Danvers sisters. Okay, so that is kind of where the article leaves off, and it kind of describes, you know, the whole episode. However, the most important thing from this article is the showrunners literally acknowledging a potential Supergirl spin-off. So they talk about how they want to do a Midvale spin-off with young Kara, young Alex, and young Cat Grant. Now, I would say this is a very interesting idea, and when this article came out, I was like, this makes total sense, and I still am in that opinion, and I would love to see this. So this really reminded me of like Smallville, and although I haven't watched the whole show, I've watched bits of it, and I really do feel like something like this could work, considering a show like that was very successful in the past on the CW as well. And so I think after this last episode being the best episode of this entire season, maybe the best episode of the Arrowverse this year so far, I mean it really could totally happen if they want it to happen, and I think it would be pretty successful. So that's obviously one spin-off idea, and you know, the potential spin-offs, I mean there could be so many, and I feel like they are going to want to keep like especially Nia around and like probably along with that Brainy as well because they are fan favorites and definitely for Nia she's got a lot left in her that hasn't been explored as seen in this last episode just for one. So what happens if the other spin-off idea could be like a Legion of Superheroes show? I know I've mentioned that before but that would be like my top pick. I really want to see a Legion show with Nia and Brainy go into the future. Obviously, Supergirl could be in the future, however, she doesn't have to show up on the show. Obviously, Melissa probably wouldn't be a part of it. Again, there is a possibility that Melissa could be producing a spin-off show because she has a new deal with Warner Brothers to develop TV shows for them. And so, that could be something that happens where she doesn't actually act in it, but she participates behind the scenes in a Supergirl spin-off. And I think a show like that would be probably backed by Melissa and I think it would be very cool. So those are just some ideas but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you like to see a Midvale spin-off? 
like the showrunners are suggesting it could potentially happen? Or would you like to see something a bit different? But for now, let's move on to the next thing. We're going to break down the trailer for Prom again. This is the second part of the two-part episode, Back in Midvale. And I'm super excited for this episode because, as I mentioned before, this week's episode was so good. It really felt like a proper, fully rounded episode. And I can totally see where those spin-off hopes are coming from because Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanen totally embody Melissa and Kyla and the characters themselves. And that could be a way to continue the Supergirl legacy by having those same characters where people aren't even judging the casting. Like, you know, it's not Melissa or Kyla, but it feels like them. But anyway, they've released the trailer for episode 6. And this is the first shot of the trailer, so you see the kryptonite stone they're looking for, you know, the part of the meteor that Kara gets hit with and her blood is there because that was the whole reason that they've time traveled back to 2009 to get her DNA. Obviously there is some plot holes to do with that because, I mean, they could have gone to like three minutes before Kara went away to the Phantom Zone and time traveled there and like just nicked her with some kryptonite. However, you know, here we are, this is the kryptonite and the blood that they are looking for in order to try and save Kara from the Phantom Zone and this is just a way that they're trying to get her back but also apparently Cat Grant might be the reason why they don't get Kara back and so I'm presuming at one point she is going to take that piece of kryptonite with Kara's DNA on and probably take it away and we know that she's going to be joining forces or at least being around both young Kara and Alex and also Brainy and Nia so let's move on to the next shot. You got Brainy and Nia, they are talking together. I presume this is at the prom. And so we actually go inside the prom. It says a prom night on the trailer and it's a masquerade senior prom at Midvale High School. So you see Kara in her mask and Alex makes a comment about the mask and you know, being like a kind of hero. And you know, because she's been going around, she's been a superhero essentially. And this is something that's never been fully explored, like we never got a reference to Kara actually doing hero stuff in the past. And this is obviously leading up to how she becomes Supergirl in the future. This is like a basic teaser for what she will become sometime in the future. But we have her with Kenny. Kenny was fantastic last episode, I really like this new casting. And I really hope he gets to come back along with young Kara and Alex and also Kat Grant if they do that spin-off. However, they are inside one of the classrooms, they are fully dressed up for the prom, and so it seems like this all happens and somehow they get attacked because those aliens are still out there and at the end of last episode, the cliffhanger was that those two new aliens, aka the Alien King, he was referred to as who, you know, has a zoo of aliens and he's after the Kryptonians and also he's just captured Brainy and Neo who are different species. However, they get captured at the end of the episode, they're inside his force field, and so presumably at this point, or at some point in the episode, Kara realizes that they need their help, and so that's when they meet up again. So we go to the Legion ship, you actually have young Kara on the Legion ship, with Brainy and Nia, so obviously there is some differences in the timeline, and they're going to have to fully explain how Kara in the present day doesn't remember Brainy and Nia because they had a lot of interactions in the past and they are not forgettable ones like I get it if you know you just glanced at Brainy and Nia in the past and you totally forgot about it but anyway so we go back to their fortress which Kenny introduced to Kara last episode and I think this could potentially be the point where she realizes that Brainy and Nia aka Brandon and Brenda are in trouble because this is pretty much where she left off last episode and so then we go over to the alien ship that we briefly saw with the two new aliens. So the alien king and his assistant. Kara breaks through the door. She does a superhero landing. And it's very cool to see young Kara do some superhero stuff because we never actually have had that before. It's mainly been flashbacks. But now she's actually involved in the main story and she's kicking ass. So, you know, it's all very, very exciting. However, look in the background. You got Kenny there, you got Nia and Brainy and also Cat Grant, so somehow Cat does catch up to all of them and I'm wondering how she doesn't remember Kara because she is seeing her right here. Okay, so then we get this shot and these are the two aliens and they're being attacked by Kara and they look extremely afraid 
it looks like they've been beaten up because the assistant has like a bunch of like gashes all over his face and then we cut to this shot of Kara as she's about to push and like punch them into the wall and you see them slam against it and that is the end of the trailer. So I'm super excited for next week's episode of Supergirl. I can't wait to see how this story wraps up, the two part episode that being. And also really excited for the potential of a Supergirl spin-off after the show ends. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Please click here to watch my latest video. Also leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.